So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 15th Electron.js tutorial in which we are gonna create that slider sort of thing which I was talking about and uh, let's just begin. So right now what we have in our edit image is these two windows. So let's just add another window which would say these are live effects and uh, Actually, I do not want to show it every time, so I'm going to show this every, only when um, controls active. Let's just name it something like that. And we're going to say scope.controls active is false. And when somebody clicks it, we're going to switch the controls active to true. And similarly, we can say something like this. So we can now say that this is our effect and uh, we're going to repeat this again ng repeat which would be effect props in effects and I can just switch down the sidebar and yeah so our effect would the effect column the live effect column would look something like div class effect name and we're gonna say that this is just effect now this effect actually refers to just in case if you're wondering this thing right here brightness contrast invert hue rotate and this prop refers to this particular value of that effect like we will just access have access to this val min max and delim property so i'm gonna say this is effect name or rather no because we are going to make use of that in um, ng repeat so the elements are going to repeat it here this would be amount done so we're going to say this is props dot value plus props dot tell him which would pretty much print something like 30 percent or 100 percent in original case for brightness and uh, finally what we're, what we're going to do is create a range slider range slider and i'm just gonna copy this code from internet and i'm gonna leave a link how you can do that in the description so make sure to check that out if you are following up otherwise i'm just gonna put this on uh, github anyhow so if you just want to download the complete code you can just go ahead and do that so this would be input type range and i'm gonna say this is slider input and now I'm going to say that minimum would be props.min and maximum would be props.max because uh, in some cases the minimum value would be maximum value would be like only 100 because 200% um, inverted image doesn't make a sense but 200% brightened image makes sense right so maximum would be props.max and then we're going to say ng value for now would be props.val and i'm going to ng model this as well with props.val so this gives us an advantage that we do not need to explicitly change props.val right or we you can just do that as well if you want like if we say ng change and then we can say this is a set effect and uh, yeah, we can just pass in props.val if you wish to, right? So a lot of stuff going on here. Let's just see what's happening. So first of all, we have created input type range, which makes it a slider instead of a regular input field. Then we are making use of some classes, which you're going to take a look at in a minute. Then minimum value, we're getting props.min from here. Then for maximum value, we're getting the maximum value from here. Then we are getting the delimiter. We're not making use of delimiter here, but we're going to make use of delimiter here. And then finally, we are gonna make use of uh, props.val. We are actually making use of that in ng model. And uh, in ng model, I guess we just need this, right? And in ng value, we're gonna again just need that. Okay, so far so good. Now, what about the slider thing? Well, first of all, let's just see how ugly this looks. So I'm gonna fire electron e1 and uh, we have some errors what we have in here um, let's just take a look 
this should not be there and again E1 and if I click on brightness you see that we get actually all the controls at one go that's not what we want right so what we can do instead to fix this is uh, we can create something like um, scope dot active effect is effect name and then finally we can say ng show only if effect is equal to active name right so yep and then if we run this e1 brightness we see our controls nowhere because live effects is visible but uh, effect is equal to active name or active effect it is rather instead of active name so effect active effect e1 brightness and we see only brightness control okay good now the next thing again we need some styling in here like that and we can say preview is again flex one live effects needs to be flex one as well and uh, yep so we're gonna say this is again display flex flex uh, justify content center align item center text align center like that so you can see that this input looks really ugly right now and uh, that's not what we want so I'm gonna get some styles for this input and uh, here is our CSS file so we're gonna go ahead now I'm gonna go ahead and add some styles to this input so just give me a sec okay so I have added some styles you can see these are the styles I have added. I just picked it from the internet. It is some slider known as rain slider. It's actually jQuery slider, but I just trimmed it down to a very basic CSS styles only slider. And uh, where's our edit slider input and rain slider? Yeah, that should be it. So it just does some sort of CSS magic on the slider. We do not need to. Uh, just go into jQuery and all that stuff to design CSS sliders. So let's just run this again and click on brightness. You can see that we got a nice little slider instead of that boring slider, right? So that is how pretty much we can uh, create this thing. And uh, yeah, that's all for this one. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how to add. Um, actually how to make this image work with this value which is being reflected here so that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe like and share and that's all I'll see you then in the next one real quick